Building and maintaining a course is a huge amount of work, and I always felt it was a shame to put that material into stasis after the final exam. Students lose access to the learning management system after graduation, and in between course offerings, that content is inaccessible to anyone. My name is Joe Rubin. I'm a veterinarian with a PhD in microbiology, and I teach veterinary bacteriology and mycology at the Western College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, Canada. During the emergency shift to online learning at the beginning of the pandemic, we learned a lot about accessibility. These days, lectures are routinely recorded and uploaded for students to the learning management system so that even those students who are unable to attend because of illness are still able to access course content. For me, accessibility goes further than that. Um, I like to consider students who aren't even in our courses. Who else can we make this content available to? And why shouldn't it be seen by sort of the broader world? Veterinary microbiology is a niche subdiscipline within microbiology for which there are relatively few uh, uh, open resources available. And so making this course available on YouTube fills an important gap. It unlocks content for people who would otherwise not have access to it through a well-resourced library. It's been really interesting and affirming for me to see how my YouTube content has been accessed by people in low and middle income countries. And I hope that this video lecture series will also prove useful. Sharing my teaching materials freely as open educational resources is something that I've been doing for a while. Starting with photos uploaded to my Flickr page, lab demonstrations from the depths of the pandemic, which were published to this YouTube channel, or explainer videos, which I made to address content that I find students frequently struggle with. However, making this course entirely open has been a much bigger process. I've removed all of the copyrighted material from the presentations, and so everything you see is either Creative Commons licensed or in the public domain, or where no references are given, it's content that I've created myself. In the video description below, I've put links to some useful photo repositories that I've drawn on heavily throughout this class. This class is divided into 40 lectures, and I'll be uploading lecture videos as two approximately 20 minute segments um, to this channel as they're developed throughout the course. This material uh, was all updated for the 2023-2024 academic year. Just a couple of disclaimers. First, this course is intended for educational purposes only. Nothing I say constitutes either medical or veterinary advice. If you have concerns, please seek out a professional. And two, there is some graphic content which is included as part of this course package. We are talking about uh, infectious diseases of animals and to some extent people. And so images of lesions and uh, animal necropsies are included for educational purposes. And some of these are frankly a little bit gross. So finally, whether you're one of my students here in Saskatoon or anyone anywhere in the world interested in veterinary microbiology, Welcome to the class. I look forward to connecting with you either in the classroom or in the comment section below. Hello.